Hello, I'm Zompist, and I'm ready to cut down my first tree. Okay, just kidding. We have a whole base already. This is just the secondary base. The ravine base. The ravine is mostly for looks, but it, you can see that we've got a pretty good population going. Here we have the cactus farm, which is pretty useless. As you can see, it makes uh, way more green, green dye that I can use, but it is uh, kind of cool. Here is a little baselet. This little ravine area is based on uh, some of the well cities in, in uh, Mobius comics. Most of it is for show, but we do have a little uh, obsidian crafting station. So we grab the lava. get in there. And we have obsidian. You don't need, uh, I mean, an obsidian farm from these little dripstone things, but it's convenient because it can be put right near base. You don't have to go caving or go into the nether. Over this way, there is this is a nice atmospheric building. I like the water effect. That is a big fuel tank. And this is our train station. With a ticket cell. Har. Yeah. Yeah. Har. Har. Down in the basement, here is a uh, XP dispenser with a ocean view. This is my main house. Upstairs is spellcasting area. And this is the main base with everybody just hanging out. And this bad boy is a AFK monster farm. It has about 10 levels. And uh, when we turn this on, water washes it each level and and we hang out up here AFK it was a good time to go and write in my book or something here you can see both the ravine city my main base over there is an ocean monument they're kind of noisy neighbors That is a nice sugarcane farm. Let's see if it's got anything. Yep. Better, whoops, I don't have any room for it, but it's got plenty of stuff. Over there, we've got the common pig farm. This is a kelp farm. And there they go. Off to work. They're going to put in a hard day's work. 
Standing in front of the lectures. Out back. This is the pumpkin and melon farm. Which is I already cleared it a little earlier, so there's not that much, but sometimes there's more than my farmers know what to do with. Now the reason the melon farm is so good is because a uh, villager will give me one emerald each. And that is because I have a collaborator. Here he is. His name is Walter. I'll show you how Walter works. I lost the sound here, but uh, the butcher is going to take a little trip. Don't worry, it'll be good for him to get out of the village. Okay, here is the front of this amazing machine. Oop, worked the first time. He's now in the mine card. He's now visiting my collaborator. And he's turned into a zombie. Look at that, poor guy. Now, that block. We just leave him there for a moment. Don't worry about him. He's going to be cured. First, we throw a splash potion of weakness on him. Give him a golden apple. And now he's being cured. He's, look at him. He looks better already. Well, that's the sound of a zombie being cured. There he is. He looks great. We release him. We, while he's still in there, we make sure that he can't get out. And look, he has much better deals now. And I'll show you one more thing. This is my concrete farm. It's a little tedious to put concrete into the water and have to go and chop out each one. So boring. So we can put it in this little machine. Okay, and now that it's all set in place, fall into the water. Then we release the TNT. And we have our concrete. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, because now it's time for 1.18.